Hi. Today we're going to be reviewing on the electrocardiograph, which is the ECG. Um, I want you guys to know that the ECG, uh, its main function is recording electrical activity of a large mass of atrial and ventricular cells as specific waveforms and complexes. So these electrical activities are observed via electrodes. And for the purpose of the 12 lead ECG, we know that uh, there are 12 leads. They are divided into three aspects. We have the six precordial chest leads, we have the three classical limb leads, and three augmented leads. Okay? The three classic limb leads is lead one, lead two, lead three. The augmented leads are lead AVF, lead AVR, and lead AVL. The precordial chest leads are V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. So again, these leads, they give us a view of the heart. And these, they give us basically different views of the heart. So for example, lead 1, AVL, and the lead the precordial chest leads V5 and V6 looks at the lateral aspect of the left ventricle. Okay? Whereas lead 2, lead 3, and lead AVF look at the inferior aspect of the left ventricle. Okay? V V1, V2 looks at the septal region of the left ventricle and V3 and V4 looks at the anterior left ventricle. Okay? So, now we're going to talk about the functions of the ECG. The function of the ECG is to monitor the patient's heart rate. Okay? It evaluates the effects of disease or injury on heart function. It evaluates pacemaker functions as well as evaluating responses to medications. Okay? So, in that aspect, it is quite uh, imperative that we obtain the baseline recordings before, during, and after the procedure. Okay. Again, uh, the ECG also provides information on the orientation of the heart in the chest, the conduction disturbances that are seen in a particular heart, the electrical effects of medications and electrolytes, any mass of cardiac muscle, as well as the presence of ischemia-related uh, damage. Okay. So, since we covered that aspect, now let's talk about electrodes. Electrodes refer to the paper, the plastic, or metal device that contains conductive media and is applied to the patient's skin. Okay. These electrodes are applied at specific locations on patient's wall and extremities to view the heart's electrical activity from different angles and different planes. So, there are three types of electrodes. You have metal disc, metal suction cups, and disposable disc. These remove oil and dead cells from the patient's skin and are uh, and then applied on the chest. Okay? So, now in response to the discussion on leads, it's very important to know that a lead records the average current flow at a specific time in a portion of the heart. So in the 12 lead ECG, it provides views of the heart in both the frontal and the horizontal planes and views the surfaces of the left ventricle from 12 different angles. All right? The frontal plane leads, so let's talk about that. The frontal plane leads view the heart from the front of the body as well um, on the frontal aspect. Okay? So it sees the body as if it were flat. The directions include superior, inferior, right, and left. So the six leads view heart in frontal plane, the three bipolar leads, and three unipolar leads. Okay? So the bipolar leads. The bipolar leads are ECG leads that has a positive and negative electrode. The electrode records differences in electrical potential between two selected electro electrodes. 
leads 1, 2, and 3, these are the standard limb leads. They're also known as bipolar leads. Okay? The unipolar leads, they're leads that consist of a single positive electrode and a reference point. This reference point lies in the center of the heart's electrical field. Leads AVR, AVL, AVF are all unipolar leads. Okay? Then you have standard limb leads. Leads 1, 2, 3 make up the standard limb leads. A positive electrode is located at the left wrist in lead 1, while leads 2 and 3 both have their positive electrode located at the left foot. Okay. Now, let's talk about the augmented limb leads. Electrical potential produced is very small in the augmented limb leads, so as a result, the ECG machine augments the amplitude of the electrical potentials detected at each extremity by about 50% of those recorded. So I want you guys to know that A stands for augmented. So in cases where we have AVR, AVL, AVF, it refers to augmented voltage and then location. So for AVR is augmented voltage right arm. AVL is augmented voltage left arm. And AVF refers to augmented voltage left foot because the right foot is basically the, it just represents earth, okay? We never use the right foot in the leads. So, <clears throat> now let's talk about the chest leads, the precordial chest leads, okay, before we go into specific detail. The precordial chest leads, um, as the name implies, records the electrical activity of the chest, primarily the left ventricle. Okay, you have six precordial chest leads. They are V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. V1 is going to be located at the right side of the sternum on the fourth intercostal space. Okay, you're going to place this lead on the right side of the sternum on the fourth intercostal space, and it views the septum of the heart. V2 also views the septum of the heart. However, it's going to be placed on the left side of the sternum, fourth intercostal space. V3 is going to be located in the midway between V2 and V4, and it views the anterior surface of the left ventricle. V4 is going to be placed at the left midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space, and also looks at the anterior surface of the left ventricle. V5 is going to be placed at the left anterior axillary line, at the same level as V4. And it will be viewing the lateral aspect of the left ventricle. V6 will be placed at the left med mid axillary line at the same level as V4. Okay? And also, same as V5, it looks at the lateral surface of 